someone's been generous enough to give me a briefcase of easy targets. Unfortunately, this is one you haven't actually heard of. Ha ha ha. Yeah, we happy. Arrogance is habitual to the ignorant. A Persian proverb that I didn't know about until I specifically searched it so I could rip it off for this video. Before we begin, I want to make my intentions here very clear. The point of this video is simply just to be critical of this guy and his actions, and I feel like pointing these things out would make for an entertaining video. Simply put, the point here is not to harass him or to get him fired from his, his oh-so-prestigious job that we'll get to in a minute. And I'm taking this opportunity right now before I say anything to denounce all harassment that might come this guy's way. If you do that, you're an asshole. I, 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 I don't know why I'm trying so hard to prove this to you. If you don't believe me, I don't care. I, I just don't want this guy to be harassed. Well, who are we talking about here? We're talking about the world famous Leek. World's Rejoice game show presenter, known for hosting all of your favorite shows, like Quarren Stream, The Game Show. Hello. Where each episode is fucking an hour and a half long, which would be fine if an hour of it wasn't just bullshit. In the arms of an angel. And that means I won't have any more beverages. Keep my beverages filled. Beverage. Beverage. Hey, beverage. Yeah, who says I'm not classy? A little trashy, though, I'm not gonna lie. Fucking actual human beings watch this. And Hasbro, the game show. Because God forbid you have a, a show end in any other three words. But in reality, it actually clears up a lot, seeing as if I actually saw these shows without knowing what they're called, I'd have a bit of difficulty identifying that they're game shows. And the player that picks the card with the highest point value is gonna walk away with this. It's a fun-filled collection of some of your family's favorite Hasbro games! I mean, yeah, that's a great prize. What else would you offer? Money? I already have that shit. Let me put it in simple terms. Have you ever been on a cruise or at a school assembly or something and they tried to play their own version of a game show? Leek is the guy that'd be up on stage. He's just successful enough to do the official fake versions of the game shows, but not the official real version. But his biggest claim to fame, he even shows it off in his profile picture, is being the board operator on Press Your Luck for eight episodes according to his IMDB page, on which it also says that he's five foot seven and a half. Now this is a secure guy we're talking about. Now as such, he's essentially cultivated this reputation as being the paragon of game show knowledge. He's better than anyone, and don't you dare say otherwise. Are we all clear on who he is? Brilliant. Before we even go into how this guy relates to me at all, I'm gonna talk about a few of his personality traits that he's shown with other people. First thing, he is needlessly semantic. Non-stop, he'll just correct people, or even fail to correct people, on frankly irrelevant things. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm not certain who they're talking about here. If I had to guess, it'd be Greg Davies, who is a host on Taskmaster. But in the first example, this guy here says that he hopes Davies gets the job full time. To which Lee responded to clarify, there is no such thing as a full time position. He's the current showrunner, and unless something happens, he'll remain there. Yeah, dumbass! Full time positions aren't even real because it's possible to get fired. First of all, let's assume that what he's saying is accurate. You know what he meant. The correction is frankly just rude and unnecessary, and does not clarify anything. And this is doubled by the fact that you are also incorrect. There is such a thing as a full-time position. That's why it's a term. And if there's anybody that will be going round the clock on a job, it's the showrunner. But I guess you're right, you know, nothing's permanent anyways, because we all wither away and die regardless. So, I, I suppose there's really no full-time anything, if you want to get really technical. Here's another example in which he feels the need to correct someone on the difference between digitized and computerized. It elucidates and adds nothing, it does not clarify the question, it, it, it's a frankly useless statement to make. Now I will give him this, I believe he is correct, but he then goes on to say that the question was pointless, which the guy who asked it already acknowledged, and that nobody should even bother thinking about it, because he deems it useless. It, it's just, it's just complete, it's not worth knowing. 
There's things that are just not worth knowing, you know, and this is one of them. And yes, I do see the guy was being a bit of a tool to me here, but I, all I'm gonna do is point that out so that way it isn't mentioned by someone else. He's not the focus of this video. But yeah, I agree, trivial information is totally out of place in a game show server. As we all know, it's not like there's an entire genre dedicated to knowing trivial knowledge to win games or anything. Completely out of place. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Do you hear that? It's time for a little bit of a... Game show history break. Michael Larson was a man that went on Press Your Luck in 1984 and memorized the pattern of the light sequences on the board and exploited it to win over $110,000. He would then go on to lose all his money in real estate and die a miserable death in 1999. Now here's Lee saying that Michael Larson actually did nothing remarkable and that the crew knew about the exploit he used the entire time. Oh, he, did, he didn't do anything special. They knew, man. They knew. Okay, even assuming that's true, What's the goal here? Is it to invalidate what he did? Being part of the crew on Press Your Luck, are you just embarrassed that happened on the first series run? No, they knew the whole time. That's why they let him go on and win almost five times the maximum jackpot the show allowed at the time. I mean, it just does make sense. You really stuck it to the guy that's been dead for 23 years. Nothing ostentatious about that at all. Now then, let's go back to the beginning. Back in June of 2021, I was on a Discord server called Novalis. They were centralized around doing game shows with elaborate 3D virtual sets. They really cared a lot about them, and it was a fun server to be in. They really cared about making the experience feel authentic. At the time, I was not a huge fan of Press Your Luck. My reasons for this were flawed, I admit, but I will maintain that I was still entitled to not like the show. I mentioned the Press Your Luck board game, a horrible adaptation that doesn't even come with a working board. To play the game, you need to use an app, meaning that eventually the board game's just gonna be useless. And literally all that comes in the box is trivia questions and whiteboards, along with a completely superfluous whammy plushie. And I assume that was only included to futilely justify the outrageous $30 price. But yeah, I mentioned that the board game adaptation is trash. I know that that's something horrific that it was just wild of me to do in a game show server nonetheless, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Unfortunately for this conversation, I do not have screenshots of it. The best I can do is this summary by one of the mods. There's some critical information left out, but it is genuinely the best I have to offer at this time. I can't empirically prove that this is how the conversation went, but if you don't believe me, I don't care. Okay, because this is how it went down. I'm not gonna have a fucking headache about proving to you that this happened. Essentially, I'd said that the Press Your Luck board game is a borderline ripoff, and that I guess I should have expected that from the worst game show. Whether or not you, the viewer, agree that Press Your Luck is the worst game show or not, is irrelevant because it was my opinion. And that's not even what we're talking about here. Lee comes back saying, I would be very careful about what you say about some of these shows, I've worked slash currently working on a lot of them, press your luck included. And the message had an oddly threatening vibe to it for like genuinely no reason. And what I took from that is that I shouldn't be critical of certain game shows because some people happen to be in that server, which I'm sorry, yeah, that's just not how it works. I, I don't care who you are, it's not gonna change my opinion or stop me from sharing it. And I said this to him in response in the least aggressive way I could have. I'm sorry you were offended, I am impressed you're working on the show, that doesn't mean I can't criticize them. Lee went on to say that my postulations about the show were inaccurate, and to his credit, they were. But at that point I'd already been apologetic, which is more than what he deserved, so th this is just entirely unnecessary and he's just trying to grill me over this. And he continued to go on and warn that I should be cautious with the same threatening tone. Now at this point, I don't know what the fuck he wants from me. I said I was sorry. I said that I'm impressed with his work. I said that I don't care who you are, I'm gonna maintain this opinion of the show. Your status is not gonna change that for me. And this is essentially what I told him. I said that I don't know what else he wants from me, and then later on, when he missed a joke that I'd made, I apologized for not making the joke obvious enough. At this point, Lee got a bit more threatening, and a few other people chimed in in support of me, and then I said that I will be very cautious as per Lee's advice, not to criticize the wrong show, seeing as how Lee made it feel like I shouldn't be dissenting of the show if he's around. Now was that comment from me necessary? No, but I'm still glad I made it because it led to Lee absolutely fucking melting down. 
which I really like. He then said, is everyone in here 12? Which I understand, seeing as he's clearly the most mature here, getting mad over such an irrelevant thing. I'm sorry I didn't like your show, pal. Lee said some other stuff, I can't remember what it was specifically. Then I said some things, then the mods came in to try and defuse it. I then tried to change the topic by talking about Card Sharks 2001, as evidenced by this screenshot here. As you can see, by this point, the conversation had completely shifted. We were not talking about Press Your Luck, we were not talking about Lee, but Lee brought things back, saying that I literally have no idea. After the conversation was over. About an hour later, I felt a bit bad, and I can't tell you why, but I messaged him with a lengthy apology for saying some hostile things to him, which I did do, but he refused to accept it. He said that I continued to make shots as if he didn't reinitiate the conversation multiple times and said that I was part of the reason he keeps the server muted. <laughs> now the next day, for reasons that I've forgotten, I left the server. As I thought this would be the last time I was interacting with Lee, I sent him something, uh... Well, okay, I'm a little embarrassed about this because it's frankly horrific. Probably one of the most obscene things I've ever sent to another person online. I, I want to put up a bit of a content warning here for anyone that's easily uh, triggered by sensitive material because this is, this is horrible. It's going to go on screen. Three, two, one. I'm sorry you feel that way. Fifteen days later, I was suddenly re-invited to the rebooted server. Play it. Let's leave the past behind us and let this be a clean slate for both of us. Bit of an excessive use of the word us, but sounded like a good idea. Four days later, I mentioned offhandedly that the password plus set looks very unfortunate. And if you can't see what I'm talking about, the negative space looks like swastikas, which is a fucking hilarious gag, by the way. I'm really proud of myself there. But you know, seeing as it is a game show server, I'd have no reason to assume that there'd be any problem with me saying that. I posted that, I went to work on my Tinder video, and I did not say a word after. Complete silence from my end. Now despite this, Lee went on to say that I was trying to gaslight the server into believing that they intentionally put that in or something. He leaked the meme image that I sent him, saying that I was harassing him, conveniently cropping out my long apology, by the way, to try and get things back on good terms, and went on cursing and calling me filth and incessantly paying the mods, saying that I should be banned. And I mean incessantly. I would bet seven times minimum. Which makes sense, seeing as how showing a game show set and annoyingly pinging mods, melting down when things aren't going your way, cursing and calling me trash and other things, are unequivocally equivalent. And now at this point, I left the server for about an hour, seeing as this was fucking clown shoes shit. And then I returned and was immediately banned. Even though, if I'm remembering correctly, I didn't say a word since I rejoined. But according to this mod here, I'd been banned because of my past actions. I guess that blank slate tagline doesn't apply if the instigator has fucking clout brain, and the mod's eight brains aren't functional enough to see anything wrong with Lee's actions. Blatantly, they are just favoring him because he's a big scary game show man. One of the mods actually said to me that I should take special precaution around Lee as he's dangerously powerful being the fucking board operator on a game show. I told him that Lee cropped the DMs to cut out my previous attempt at diplomacy, but the mod insisted that he didn't crop them, despite me literally putting the fucking evidence in front of his face that he did. I f Even when it is being presented in front of their very fucking eyes, they're still saying that I'm the instigator. Lee is so fucking petulant, and everyone in the community lets him do whatever the hell he wants simply because he's in the industry. Now let's recap, seeing as how I'm betting a couple people from the server are now watching this, so I need to slow it down for their fucking monkey brains. I've been banned from two servers because this guy gets so fucking offended at trivial shit. I tried arguing with him, I tried being diplomatic with him, and I've tried ignoring him. And even so, I've been banned. And he gets off scot-free. Which I don't care anymore. 
I, I don't want to rejoin this server. I just want to share this with you guys because this is fucking wild to me. Now let's move on to the most recent example. This was in a new server from a creator I'd happened to be a big fan of at the time, Game Show Gumbo. They'd talk about lost game shows, board game adaptations, uh, game shows from other countries, and I really liked them because they were one of the few in-depth channels about game shows, and they could also talk fluently. Luck be a bald, tebophobe, Canadian comedian tonight! It's time to deal, or no deal! So I joined their server, and who else could be there but Lee? He was on his usual needless aggression type beat, like getting extremely mad at someone for not knowing how to watch over-the-air television, or crying about someone pinging him despite doing the same in a server I'd mentioned previously. He has no problem pinging other people, but the second someone pings him, you better fucking watch your back, buddy. Now, our first spat in the server was over literally nothing. There was no disagreement, there was no argument. Lee is just, as I've established, Brainless. For context, there was someone disappointed that the pilot to Starcade uploaded by Wink Martindale had been taken down. If you don't know, Wink Martindale was a host of a game show called Tic Tac Doe, and he also uploads archives of YouTube videos. Heavily edited with his own stupid branding and watermarks, and even flat out editing clips out of the lost media. Not a match. Not a match. My original thought? That's a good answer. Polly wants a- Therefore ruining it, but that's essentially what he does. But yeah, they were upset that the pilot had been taken down and some pretty mean things were said about multi-billion dollar networks. So thankfully, Lee was here to stand up for them. He then defended that the copyright holder was within their right to take the videos down since they're allowed to decide where they want their IP to be. And he's absolutely correct. I am not disagreeing with him on that. And I even elaborated on that, and I said that I wasn't much of a fan of Wink Martindale myself for the reasons I explained earlier. And I was not disagreeing with Lee at all because he was correct. However, he said this. I, I don't know where to s even start with any of this. You've gaslighted several issues before on other discords, and I'm not about to start here. It's time for an intermission. I'd just like to take a second to remind you all what gaslighting is. Gaslighting is a manipulation tactic in which you convince someone to doubt their own judgments by making them believe that they're mentally ill. How does anything that I've done fit that description? I'm not even disagreeing with Lee here, but he has issues with it for some reason. I'm not about to start here. Then fucking don't. Try that. It went on a little bit longer, you can read a bit more, but that's really where it ended. Or was it? The next fucking day, the next day, after this was all dealt with, Game Show Gumbo themselves, or as they're known in the server, Sigma Fan, felt the need to emphasize that Lee was correct with a capital C. Now, I was fine letting it die, but since they implied I was disagreeing with him, I clarified that I wasn't. And for the life of me, I could not tell you how you could possibly interpret what I said as disagreement, but even after I spelled it out like Vanna White, Local scholar J.B. Henry the 14th insisted that I was. I went to DMs and immediately stated that I wasn't doing either of those things, and then he brought up something entirely unrelated. I've seen you make hot takes and be rude to criticisms on other servers, so you need to get the hell away from me. I'm sorry, get the hell away from you. What? You're acting like I'm fucking standing next to you on the street harassing you about this. I'd appreciate it if you stopped messaging me. What, you're worried one of my DMs is gonna have a fucking bomb strapped to it? Now, I don't understand how what he's talking about here is relevant to anything, but I guess I have to explain it to you now. So thank you, Henry. A while back, I was in this guy's server, and I mentioned essentially the same critiques about the Press Your Luck board game. And so he made the very petulant response, then don't buy it! Which, by the way, if you use that to shut down criticism of something you like, it's because you are unable to defend it yourself. What difference does it make if I buy it or don't buy it? It's gonna be the same product no matter what. Am I not allowed to give input on something? Now, unfortunately, the only screenshot I have of this interaction is cropped out, and from what I remember, my statements were pretty scathing. I know, I said some really hurtful shit about the Press Your Luck board game. But that doesn't change the content of what I said at all. I criticized the board game, and he was like, Oh, don't buy it, man. You're just being a negative Nancy. He is literally being the embodiment of the fucking let people enjoy things meme. No need to be so negative about it. I'm criticizing the game show board game in a game show server. I'm being critical. My opinion on it is negative. So I'm going to use negative and critical wording. 
I, you can't state a criticism with positive words. That's antithetical. And I don't even know why you're being so defensive of a board game that's literally just trivia cards and whiteboards. It's not like that'll change the board game at all, but I, no, I guess you're just meant to have positive opinions, I suppose. Going back to the conversation, I tried to explain that I just wanted my intentions understood. But they essentially ignored that and said that I shouldn't try to defend myself and that I should learn to just accept when I'm wrong. <sighs> Firstly, I'm going to defend myself if people are going to misappropriate and assume my intentions because I'm not having it spread. Secondly, and I said this to him, how is it wrong of me to literally be agreeing with Lee? But of course he couldn't provide an explanation because he's a fucking brainless consumer. And now we've reached my ultimate example, the final one. But before I go on, let me explain this odd quirk Lee has where he gets really mad if someone speaks negatively about a game show because according to him, you might be tainting someone's first impression of it and then therefore spoiling it because some people are so fucking mentally deficient, I guess, that if they hear something negative about a show, they just, they won't be able to develop their own opinion on it. As if we're not dealing with autonomous human beings. Someone shared an episode of the Hub Game Show Scrabble Showdown, saying that it wasn't as good as the original. The fucking nerd! So Lee dismissed him as if he had no right to share that opinion because you're predisposing people to dislike the show before they ever see it. So essentially, you are not allowed to share your opinion on a game show in a game show server because some people may not have seen the game show, therefore you are tarnishing their first impression of a game show in a game show server. Lee, if you don't want us to discuss our opinion on game shows in a game show centered discord server, what the fuck do you want us to do? What else is there to do? Genuinely, what's, what's the point then? And I'm establishing this because he did it once again, so I decided to ask him point blank. Question. We all know how bad Wait Till You Have Kids was, but what about the predecessor, The Parent Game? That's your opinion of the show. Others may not feel the same way. To project that onto others will give folks who might not have seen the show an already negative impression. I personally didn't mind it at the time. So? Are you supposed to go negative, spoiler message, blackout? Is he meant to make sure that literally everyone before has seen it before he shares his opinion on it? It is a server to discuss game shows. He's doing exactly that. Here we go again. Stop with the BS. I didn't suggest any of that. Simply stated, people should form their own opinions on something to have a discussion about it. To ask a question like, we all know how bad insert show here is, makes someone who has never seen it already predisposed to a negative feeling about the show. It's asking a leading question that isn't the best way to go about sparking a productive conversation. The better way to ask that question? Hey, have you seen Insert Show Here? What are your thoughts? Or what do you think about Insert Show Here? So he's saying that we should bring up the show, wait for everyone to put their input in, then give your own input. Who's got the time for that? But if that really makes sense to you, then how come you don't do the same? About two months ago, someone mentioned a video discussing the Ray Combs era of Family Feud, to which Lee said it was a waste of time, garbage, and to not bother with it. Now hang on Lee, is that not exactly the same thing as what these other two guys were doing? He's claiming it's different because the video in question, according to Lee, contained lies or inaccuracies, and he had first-hand proof. And oh, uh, I mean, oh well, if he has first-hand proof that they're lies, then it shouldn't be too hard to explain how they're lies and not just simple inaccuracies. A lie is a much stronger statement than saying that someone got something wrong, so I'd expect proof of that. And so, and I swear to God, I am not exaggerating this. These are his exact words when I asked if he can prove that they're blatant lies. Yes, I can. My landlord is Richard Dawson's daughter-in-law, who was an executive producer. Take a fucking seat. Well, fucking boom, baby. First-hand proof, huh? Richard Dawson's daughter-in-law? That's basically knowing him personally. Boy, you sure got me there. Yeah, I guess the guy with a linked page correcting the video and a big button that says email me on his website must be intentionally lying through his teeth. That makes sense. He has loads to gain from that, I'm sure. Oh, but wait a minute. 
Oh, but wait a minute. You wouldn't happen to be making uninformed criticisms about something, right, Lee? Listen, buddy. I'd be very careful about what you say about Connor. Some of us tend to enjoy those videos, myself included. You ought to be fucking cautious. I guess he failed to see the veracity in that statement, despite it being first-hand proof, I guess, because he actually went back and deleted it. Coward. I reached out to the creator of that video and asked what he had to say about it, because it's not really fair to call him a liar without him being around. Coward. And they then went on to share the meme image that I sent him seven months ago to get me banned. Coward. Now this is going to be my one and only video on this because this is all I wanted to do. If Lee leaves a comment, I'm going to delete it without reading a single letter. And if he makes a video in response, I'm going to dislike it without hearing a single syllable. Because this isn't an invitation for discussion. That ship's gone. I'm not interested in hearing apologies. And there's absolutely nothing he could possibly add to this that would be insightful. Not that that stopped him before. But yeah, Leak, go fuck yourself, you are a deranged lunatic, and it's really sad that you were screaming to get a 17-year-old banned from a server for mentioning a funny game show set. Okay.